What's on YouTube? It's PTT back at it with another Destiny 2 video. Today, guys, I want to have a little chat about Zur. We all know who Zur is. He is our little tentacled friend from the Nine, who every Friday through till Tuesday brings us exotics that we can buy. Normally, there is a weapon and then there is a piece of armor for each class. Now, if you guys played Destiny 1, you will know that Zur kind of feels a little bit underwhelming at the moment compared to some of the things he had for sale in destiny one now that's cool you know he, he's still selling exotics and i know this video will probably split people you know some people will be like i don't get what your point is you know he's there stop moaning about him some people will be like yes i agree um but basically in this video guys what i wanted to do was um put forward some ideas um of things i would like to see happen to Zur going forward you know things that I would like to see him sell and some tweaks and adjustments I think are kind of needed to, to bring him up a little bit now you never know who is going to watch this video guys and maybe we can attract the attention of Bungie and they might actually watch this whether they like the ideas or not so what I also ask at the end of the video when you've listened to my ideas is that you get typing in the comment section and let me know your ideas for Zur like what kind of things would you like to see Zur have like imagine that we have got the attention of Bungie in this video and they're listening and they're reading through the comments and things like that this could be your chance to actually voice your opinion and say I would like to see this or I would like to see that so get typing and let me know your thoughts and opinions and obviously everyone can hopefully have a good discussion but all that aside let's just jump into some of the things that i think should happen with Zur. um so first off i think it would be pretty cool if we saw exotic mods being sold okay currently obviously we have blue mods and we have legendary mods that we can get from the gunsmith uh, imagine if we had exotic mods okay now you would obviously only be able to equip these two exotic pieces of armor let's say um, maybe you could equip them to legendary I don't I don't know how exactly it would work but imagine exotic mods and these would actually allow you to have maybe two stats on them so you could have recovery and resilience or mobility and recovery or maybe an exotic mod would allow you to have kinetic and energy weapon recoil reduction on that one particular mod now these obviously wouldn't be relatively cheap you wouldn't get them for you know one legendary shard maybe you would pay the exact same as you would for the exotic weapons and things like that but i just think it would be a pretty cool idea and definitely something that might be worth thinking about um, next then obviously we have your standard things like your exotic sparrows and your exotic ships and things like that I think it would be pretty cool if Zur had a selection of them with the different trans mats on them for the ships and obviously the exotic sparrows obviously we, we know that the ones you can get from the bright engrams have different things you can hop on one and instantly reload your weapon some you can summon quicker than other ones um, I just think it would be cool you know if, if they had something more and it would give us something to, to chase after if you wanted to collect everything then the next thing i was thinking about is exotic shaders okay now these would actually in my mind match the color schemes of certain exotics so let's say the faux tracer you know that uh, typically is got like that sandy brown look to it so imagine a shader that would match that or if we looked at say the warlock starfire protocol you can have a shader to match that so that all of your gear would then match whatever exotic you chose to have these would obviously be sold in i don't know maybe bundles of six or three whatever and you could you could purchase them equip them to your gear and again it would just be another way of spending legendary shards rather than them sitting next i think we can all admit there's not too much to do with them but it would also just give us another form of customization that i think is uh, would be a, yeah, i just think it would be a cool thing uh, moving on then what if we had uh, boosters now this would be something similar to the fire team medallions but a little bit more specific to certain events i.e strike medallions crucible medallions public event medallions these would increase uh, xp and loot from those certain events but they don't actually share between the team they are individual only uh, now obviously I know we can get the uh, the fire team medallions from the bright engrams and things like that but if you don't have any and you don't you're not close to a bright engram maybe you don't want to spend any particular um, real life money by buying silver to buy these bright engrams or you don't want to wait to level up you could buy some boosters from Zut for some legendary shards again it would just give you a uh, a way to boost things for your character it would also uh, allow us to spend legendary shards on one form or another on something else but again th these are just my ideas guys i would love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below uh, next then ornaments for exotics this is something we saw in destiny one towards the uh, the end of destiny one's lifespan where zoo would actually sell ornaments to go with the exotic weapons basically you would pay a little bit more but you would get the exotic weapon and the ornament that went with it i think we know obviously there are ornaments in game so i'm a little bit 
bewildered as to why this wasn't put in originally it, it seems like a lot of really good things that were in destiny 1 at the end of destiny 1 didn't come forward to destiny 2 and there hasn't really been any real explanation as to why you know i, I think it would have been something very simple to include in the game like we had it in destiny 1 why not carry that over buy a weapon pay a bit more get the weapon and the ornament together or pay a bit less and just get the weapon it would be then your choice i don't know why it's not there but i would definitely love to see it back and um, what about exotic ghosts guys we all know that the ghosts have certain perks on them uh, some of them allow you to get gunsmith telemetry with certain elemental weapon kills some of them allow you to get more faction tokens on certain planets or in the crucible um, imagine if we had an exotic ghost that gave us three perks rather than two um, then maybe you could have one that worked well in, in crucible and strikes maybe you had one that worked on multiple planets or if you actually look at all the available perks from the ghost um, you get several different ones that are available for certain planets some of them show you uh, resources some of them show you chests some of them allow you to actually pull multiple tokens rather than just an individual one some of them give, give you more xp on a certain planet imagine if you had a ghost that actually gave you more than just two perks and then obviously you're gaining a little bit more out of it and then finally what if we had exotic emblems okay we all know that we have legendary emblems they uh, they track certain statistics and things like that imagine if we had a, a couple of exotic emblems to to go with things um again i don't know how it would work out maybe the exotic emblems could actually be like how many items you've ever bought off of Zur, or maybe it would keep track of your exotic collection and things like that I, I don't know these are just ideas i've had floating around my head for a couple of days now guys and i just wanted to put them out there and get some feedback from all of you to see what you actually think what you would like to see implemented if anything at all maybe you like the way zoo is maybe you're one of those people that thinks it should be taken out of the game because it gives free exotics out to people for not a lot of work i, I don't know guys okay I, I know that this is just one of them topics that it, it can have a lot of different opinions depending on who you ask so again i will pass the question back to you what would you like to see if in case you know a bungee person watches this and they read through the comments get type in let, let them know hey guys you know I, I would love to see this or that or whatever but yeah that's the video guys uh, that, they were just my opinions as always if you like them found them helpful whatever drop a thumbs up i've already told you to uh, to leave me your comments in the section down below subscribe to the channel for daily destiny videos but for now guardians as always thank you very much for watching and until the next one i'll catch you all soon